Hi, uh, what we're going to try and do here is get into the new SharePoint Geography site. Uh, we put into our internet subjects.gdst.net. Uh, uh, you might need to log into that depending if you're at home or at work. Uh, you then find uh, your particular subjects. We're going to be looking at geography. Open that up. This is the uh, first page that will tend to come up. It uh, includes a news feed here of information that we've put on and a Twitter feed here. So if you've got a Twitter site, a, ge a geography department Twitter site and feed and you want to be included in this, that would be great. So we can see everything going on. If we look here, we've got uh, things that have been retweeted by Bromley High here. Um, quite a lot by Bromley High. Got Geographical Association here. Um, Norwich High retweeting something there and so on. Uh, so the idea there is that we're just getting a lot of live information on this site to make it interesting uh, as a regular place to be looking at for information. Um, rest of stuff on this first page you'll see further down is uh, my name here, uh, Raphael Heath. You can contact me if you want to ask me anything about the site or you want to make any changes or additions. Um, the idea of this is really just to give you an overview of the different things on the site and what it can do. Uh, in this section at the top, after your home button, you've got categories. If you click on categories here, it opens up essentially what are discussion areas. And you can set up a discussion on something that you think would be interesting for other teachers to talk about or get ideas on. So if we look at this one, it's called a Collaboration Ideas in Geography. Click on that and it opens up a couple of discussions. I've got one here called uh, Ideas to Enhance uh, these geography pages, which uh, I'd love comments on, any ideas of things that uh, people have about how we can make this uh, collaboration area really effective for everyone. And this one called Trust Wide Geography Events, which I've posted some ideas. It would be great to be able to work with other schools on collaborative projects across geography departments. So any responses to that? So you can just click on uh, one of these opens up uh, the discussion thread and you can see my initial uh, comment there and uh, and uh, you can add replies into that area into that discussion thread and of course if you go back to categories you can start your own discussion here as well uh, you go under the page settings here and you add a new discussion actually it's not under there is it that's just something else the uh, it must be here under Community Tools, Create Categories, and that's where you create a category for new discussion. It's all a bit new to me, uh, I'm just finding my way around it as well. Um, if you go into the Members area, you'll get a list of different members that are in the group. Of course, at the moment, uh, we haven't got many, so uh, this is the idea that we'll add over time with all the people that join the site. You should find a Join button on this page, uh, which will pop you into the community members of this site, so we can get to know each other. Uh, the Shared Libraries area is uh, potentially a useful area. If I uh, click on that, I just get to a home page, but within it are different areas. So I've got the document section here. This is very much like you might have a, uh, a folder of files on your computer. Um, and you can go into it and find things that are useful. So if you go into this one, GI Skills and Teaching Resources, I posted a few things on here that I think uh, teachers might find interesting uh, from stuff I've done on GIS. But uh, the idea is really that everyone is, is adding things onto here. If you had a document you want to add, it's pretty straightforward. You just click Add Document uh, and you upload the file from your computer using Browse. And uh, really important, put comments in here because uh, that will tell people what the file is about because just from the file name it might not be very obvious. Um, and those comments go into this section here where my cursor is hovering over now. So that tells people what the file is about before they open it, gets them a sense of if there's any use to them. Uh, and you can see I've sorted it into some folders, but these folders again under this section at the top here where it says files, you can click on and create new folders and so on. And obviously we need to think about how we uh, organize this section. So any ideas of uh, of how we might set it out, lay it out, then uh, let me know or just uh, change things as you require them so that we can keep this neat and tidy. Uh, and any documents you've got to add, that would be great. Underneath it is videos. I'm not sure how much we'll use this. I did a test here of putting a, a video on, but uh, there are other ways of... We use a lot of YouTube videos, for example. We can just put links to them. I don't think we need to put them on this site. Uh, but anyway, it's something to think about if people have videos that will interest people things that are being done, uh, that's a place to sort of upload them. And similarly for images as well. Again, I'm not quite sure yet how we might use that. Um, but if there are thoughts about that, let me know. And finally, links. Pretty self-explanatory. Again, this is just for internet links. So if you go to, let's say, Quizzing Games, I put a few folders on here. These are links to um, internet sites I think will be interesting. You click on them and uh, it takes you to 
uh, the website where there's some interesting kind of games and things on. So if we can all add things we know and find to there just by clicking that, add a new link. Pretty straightforward. You type in the website description and notes about it. I'll just cancel that for a moment. And uh, that will go in uh, as a compiled list for everyone to uh, benefit from. Next section here is called Wiki. Uh, Wiki is essentially the same as kind of Wikipedia, a chance to add uh, pages of interest. I put one here, best uh, geography apps for mobile devices. That's my first idea here. Just created a simple layout for this page. But again, uh, the idea is that people type into it and it just evolves. So under the button at the top here that says page, you can uh, edit the page uh, and uh, type new information into it save those edits and it will just update uh, and create more information. This is very much a document that will be growing over time and uh, any geography apps you can put on there that would be great ideas that we can share uh, but obviously any other themed pages just add a new wiki page here and you'll be able to create a new name for a page. I'll cancel that one for the moment and uh, that would be really useful uh, so that we can start uh, sharing on themes that are of interest to us and ideas can grow. News feeds the same as before. Um, we've got various sort of news feeds. I showed you that Twitter and stuff that's being sort of that we're doing anyway. That's being put onto the site. Uh, if you sign up, uh, let us know your Twitter address. But uh, if you want to put news feeds directly into here, this is where you do that. Of things that you think are of interest to the community. Um, the GIS page I've put on here a link to all our online GIS maps through ArcGIS Online, and uh, basically. This is a gallery of all our re recent maps that we put on, made by different members, quite a lot of them by me, but there are different members on here as well from other GDST schools. So if you're in ArcGIS Online, if you're a subscriber and you're saving maps and you think they're of interest to others, just in terms of seeing ideas and techniques that are being used as much as anything else, or it might be a thematic map like Deprivation in London you've created, then you can just, when you're in ArcGIS Online, cr click the Share button uh, within the map, share it with the GDST group, Got to make sure you join that group uh, to be able to have that uh, function uh, and then it's a really quick and easy way the maps will immediately appear here and uh, then we can all benefit from seeing what's new on these maps and they're really easy to to open this is a, a live flood warnings map and you can either view it like this as a preview within the um, within this page it's not coming up wonder where that is let's try that oh there it is just being impatient. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, view map uh, should come up. So you can view it directly within the page as you can see here and zoom in and out and move it around. You don't have the legend or key here so it's a, a bit limiting but it's uh, quite a nice way if you just want to show something quickly. If you click on the link at the top it'll take you to the gallery and you can see it uh, within the full viewer uh, via that. Okay so that's the GIS maps and I think that's a really nice live sort of uh, hub for our GIS activities. Uh, I put a little thing on here called Contacts Map, which is just a, a GIS map that's embedded showing where all the schools are and dots for uh, different uh, departments. This is me down here. Uh, it tells us uh, different members of the drug departments around the country and just a way of seeing who we are and where we are. And we could add information like exam boards we use, field work sites, and so on that might be helpful to other people to know. Perhaps locally, there's collaboration over different field work and so on and exam boards. Uh, so you can go to your particular dot uh, and add information in for your school. Uh, you can edit it by going to the link at the top here and uh, and going to the GIS map and then uh, the information will update automatically onto here. And uh, that'd be great as a sort of way of perhaps of collaborating as well as just a members list. I've also posted things on here like GIS videos that I think might be interesting for people to, to know sort of GIS skills, so sort of practicalities, how to do things. Again, if you think of uh, interesting resources and videos you can add them on or just uh, send me links and I can add them on uh, instead. We're still working on this uh, geography RSS feeds. The idea is that uh, lots of news feeds like from the GA and perhaps BBC News environment and so on uh, will come on here. So it's just a little bit like Twitter. It will provide us with kind of live feeds and information that uh, are interesting and newsworthy on topics but we haven't quite got it working yet. I also put on here videos on teaching geography, so if you've got interesting videos either from yourself from Iris or maybe just YouTube things you've seen that are all about teaching uh, techniques, I've got some teacher TV stuff here, then I suppose we could put, post them on and that might be of interest to, to people, keep people uh, inspired. Um, I've also got this thing called Teaching Geography Ideas on here and uh, these are sort of slide shares that people put on with sort of good ideas and links um, to uh, 
teaching ideas, teaching techniques and uh, websites that they think are useful that I've found on the internet. So again, uh, just embedding them on here as a sort of central hub to find stuff. So anything you think that would fit in well here that uh, would be inspiring to others, uh, it's a good place to put it if it doesn't quite fit into the other places like links or documents. Uh, class tools. Uh, I kind of see this site as being somewhere that hopefully we've got open all the time, keeping in touch with news and uh, information discussions, but I try to make put things on here that I think will be uh, you know, potentially useful for any particular lesson. So here I've got uh, class tools put on here like timers and some quizzes and games and fruit machines, which is making a noise now. And uh, if you've got other tools that you think uh, teachers could immediately use, so we're teaching a lesson, then we, we got this open anyway, and then we flip to this because it's just a quick way of getting to some of these tools, then uh, that might work well. So uh, let me know what you think and uh, and suggest tools or add tools to this area. I think at the moment you're going to have to uh, suggest tools to me, uh, but uh, we can add them later. I've clicked on this GIS tools as well. It's another type of tool that might, people might find useful. So I've put things on here that uh, you can get to elsewhere on GIS Online. Just click yes on this security alert when it comes up. And uh, here you can see uh, elevation profile tool that I made in GIS Online. And uh, just embedded it here. It's just maybe a quick way uh, of people using it. You click on measure, the ruler tool, and you click on uh, land. Let's look at the Netherlands as it's quite low and we might be interested in that from global warming and sea level change. So here you can see uh, as we move across where we are on the map, looking at the, the cross, the red cross, how high the land is in feet and uh, how close it is to sea level in different areas. Uh, so that's quite nice. You can go to anywhere in the world uh, and do this. So you could be linking it to uh, glacial landscapes, river valleys, plate tectonics, ocean trenches, all these kind of themes that you might want to pick up on and visualise. Again, just a quick way of getting to that. Underneath I put a social media tool as well. This is uh, another ArcGIS online tool where you can uh, see information. This is at the moment anyone that's sort of posted stuff about uh, on Flickr or YouTube about uh, the word weather. Uh, if I click on the points you can actually see the uh, information come up. You can click on it and you can see different things that people have uh, put on, some of which might be more relevant than others um, and may have interesting things to, to look at and watch even within YouTube. So the good old Welsh weather there. I don't know what that's about. Uh, you can also change the, the keyword. So if you want to change the keyword on the cog here, you can change it to a theme. It, uh, things like when floods are coming up or snow events in the UK, you change the word here, uh, and then it will bring YouTube or Flickr or Twitter if you sign in, uh, themes uh, that have been posted uh, and located uh, on those themes. So when flooding comes up, that's quite interesting. And it's just a different way of your students looking and, and viewing information. Density map is quite interesting, just a way of showing social media discussions on themes. Um, so you might want to have a play with that. Uh, other things I put on, uh, we're still working on trying to embed Google Earth on here. It works in Chrome, but not in uh, Internet Explorer. So I won't uh, open this at the moment, but it's the idea is to have an embedded Google Earth here. I put to this thing called Essential Live Websites on here as well. And uh, if you've got ideas of different websites that can go on here, just let me know uh, of things you think will work. Again, it, we can get to all this online, but it's just perhaps an, a nice idea of having everything kind of in one place. Uh, well, not everything, but a lot of things easy in one place. Uh, so this is, I put Gapminder on here so that, uh, here we go, it's just loaded. And it's just really in a, uh, the actual website itself. You've got full functionality of that website, but uh, just a quick way of getting to uh, to that. And you can change the data as you normally would on there. Um, and I put worldometers on here. It's quite sort of fun sometimes just to cross across in a lesson and say uh, on a theme like uh, population or income or uh, or uh, globalization or environment or something and, and look at this worldometers one. Uh, and I've also finally put uh, a link to 3D uh, Cities Panoramas here uh, website as well. And this is where you can uh, just put one live panorama on just to, to uh, embed it. Just, well, not live, sorry, whoops, going too fast. Making everyone dizzy. There we go. Um, so you can see uh, what a panorama looks like, how it works. Imagine doing glacial landscapes here on this view of Snowdon, discussing the views. And link to the website here, you can click on any of these and uh, open the different... Uh, different panoramas that are available and uh, I can imagine that's nice and teaching and again just putting everything in one place or a lot of things in one place I think is could be quite useful so any thoughts or views on it would be appreciated uh, any ideas for the site how we can develop it to make it useful as I say the way I see it is it's designed to be as much as possible a, a one-stop shop that 
you know we can find really useful that we have open all the time uh, in the background that we're sort of keeping in touch with on a daily basis or so contributing your thing to uh, as and when um, but also just finding it useful generally for our teaching as a quick way to, to access stuff that we might find useful so any thoughts ideas just email me uh, and uh, just play around and add to the site um, so I hope you find this uh, little uh, tutorial